Hello everyone, welcome to Fresh. And if you, you are new to the broadcast, my name is Nia Malika Dixon, and I am a black Muslim woman and an independent writer, director, producer from Baltimore, currently living in Los Angeles. And I love story. And so what I decided to do was to launch this live video series to talk about television series that are currently streaming that are great and some of them are not so great um, and why they're so great and talk about them in a way that gives me time to wax poetic about story <laughs> as well as to give tips to other fellow creators who want to get out there and make their own content. Here at Audace Entertainment, our goal is to provide a platform for Black and Muslim narratives that are authentic and that come from Black and Muslim creatives. And so I decided that it would be really cool to talk about what really matters when it comes to storytelling and what makes a series great. That way, not only do we have fun talking about these great shows, but also to uplift our skills and to learn from them. So this week, we're talking about The Equalizer. So far in our series, we've talked about a sitcom, we've talked about action-adventure, sci-fi, fantasy, and drama. And this week, we're, get, we're getting to talk about something that I truly love. It's like my favorite genre, which is action and <laughs> drama led by a black woman. So um, if you're familiar with The Equalizer from 1985, like I am as a kid, I used to watch it, you know that the story was about Robert McCall and he helped those who did not have any help, right? So like the story was that this, this white guy was out to help the downtrodden and he had to like keep it a secret. Um, and I don't remember all the details, except I do remember it being very white and very male. But I love action, even as a kid, so I didn't care. And you guys are probably thinking about the film series starring Denzel Washington, which kind of gave it an update um, that I, I truly love, um, because like I said, I'm an action junkie. So um, when I saw the Equalizer update with Queen Latifah as... Robin McCall. Of course, I was totally all in. Oh my God, I love Queen Latifah. She's so dope. And any kind of action drama series led by a black woman, I am. You you already got me, right? Because I'm the built-in audience. I'm I'm a former '80s kid, so I know the series. I love action, so you got me. And then Queen Latifah, right? So let's just jump right in. One of the reasons why this reboot of The Equalizer is really cool is their attention to story, right? They're really tight with the storytelling and right away from the pilot, you know it's gonna be dope because we meet Robin in her element. She's already um, having flashbacks from her previous life. Hey, welcome to the broadcast. And um, we know right away that she's a former CIA operative, right? But she's keeping it a secret from her family, her daughter, she's a single mom, divorced, and her aunt Vi, who's helping out, right? So right away, we know that she's got this secret and she's got like trauma from being the CIA operative, but she's got these dope skills. She doesn't have a job anymore, though, because she's told her family that she quit her job working at a charity, traveling all over the world and helping people, what she called helping the downtrodden. Um, and now she's unemployed. And the series opens with us meeting Robin for the first time. She's an unemployed mom in her 40s, black woman, and her teenage daughter is this um, a typical teenager, right, in, in today's time. And her attitude toward her mom is just like most teenage girls are, like, mom, you're just so lame. And now that she's newly unemployed and trying to be more in her daughter's life, her daughter sees it as like an intrusion. So she always gives her a lot of flack. And so that kind of lays the groundwork for what Robin's goal is. Now, if you've watched the other um, episodes of Fresh, you know I love story when it's really grounded in the character and what they want and what they need. And if you know that right away as an audience, you definitely are along for the ride if it's compelling. And 
so far from what I've said, I mean, how can you not be interested in this series, right? Now, we get to meet her as a hero in her own element through her flashbacks. Then we also right away jump right into this new job that she creates for herself, helping the downtrodden, helping those who don't have any help because there is a girl, a teenage girl, who automatically catches her attention because she's a mom of a teenage girl who needs some help. She's like being accosted late at night and Robin jumps in to save her because she has these skills and she's totally badass. Like she kicks their ass and she saves the girl and she takes her to meet her friends. Now, the thing that I love about this series is that it is set up like a hero a hero show like a series it's a series for uh, people who like hero shows and she's the hero and she has a team of super friends and we get to meet her super friends one is a hacker this genius level hacker and a sharpshooter and they just happen to be married to each other Robin introduced them to each other and they fell in love and the sharpshooter is a woman of color and I just totally love it right and so that's the first place that she goes to get their help to help this girl who's been set up like the girl is a witness to a murder and then the people who actually did the murder are setting her up that she was the one and the reason why um the NYPD believe that she did it is because there's this fake video footage that they put in um, surveillance footage and so that makes it so that we definitely need the hackers tools right and so we're off and running we definitely love this story I know I do um, I know make my kids watch it because it's so dope um, and we get to see Queen Latifah kick ass like why would you not want to watch that she gets to be a hero um, we even get to see her being trying to be recruited back into the CIA by Mr. Big um, Chris Noth and then we also get to follow her on her journey to redeeming herself because um, as the main character she has these these um, feelings about her previous job that she wasn't able to help people and she felt like she got burned by the CIA because they were all about the bottom dollar and um, and we get that through the dialogue we get that through her flashbacks the way this whole series is set up is it's almost like a film It's very cinematic um, and the storytelling is just so perfect like you will not miss a beat every scene explores the backstory in a way that makes you want to know more it also lays the groundwork for extra like um, for the next couple of um, episodes, right? So we get to meet her antagonist, who is a detective in the NYPD, which is um, the biggest antagonist in the show, <laughs> because she says, well, who do people call when they can't call the police? And she's like, they can call me. I have a, a unique set of skills and I can help. And so this way she gets to redeem herself as well as to, um, I guess in the eyes of her daughter, be less lame <laughs> so she takes on this job and she starts this um, secret society by putting on like message boards if you need help here's the number to call and she recruits her hacker friend and the sharpshooter and so we're off and running it's the perfect setup for an action adventure series and I'm, I'm just all in and I know if you like story and if you like action you'll love this series um, each episode in this season is really good except for maybe one or two um, there was one that really just stuck in my craw like I know that's a real old old lady term but there was one that I felt like was a little inauthentic and I think it could have benefited from some different people writing the series because it was a majority black cast and I personally as an audience member who is black grew up in the inner city if I see a depiction of black people in the inner city and it's just so off it just really rubs me the wrong way because I'm like that's not our story please it's so tropey and stereotypical and then I'll turn the TV off but what I did was I didn't 
hold it against the series and I just waited and watched a few more episodes and sure enough it jumped right back into action adventure and the storytelling is just so great it's so great and the reason why the storytelling is great is because it lets the it lets the main character do what she does and it's not forced you know um and also the storylines are very relevant the first uh, episode is um a tech heavy episode where social media and um quote unquote big brother and the ability for um smart technology to invade your life becomes part of the storyline um and in a way it's really cool because you know it reflects current times which i think is pretty dope so any show that does that definitely will get you on board but it also has to take it to uh, the next level so that in a way you're going to keep coming back for each episode you know and there is a love interest that's woven in with the antagonist somewhat and um, that also keeps you coming back as well so just to recap action and adventure with a strong character with um, a strong backstory um, a very clear need and want and because this is a, a show that's set up like a hero series, we definitely get to see her superpowers, which are her skills. You know, she was trained by the CIA, so she has, like she says, a unique set of skills. And we definitely love to see her perform those skills when she kicks ass. Um, that's one of my favorite <laughs> parts of the series. And then um, the cool thing about it is I know that Queen Latifah um, is a, a motorcycle a rider so whenever i see her character riding the motorcycle it's kind of dope because you know as a black woman in the lead riding a motorcycle you know you're already dispelling a few myths right now as a person who wishes i rode a motorcycle i aspire to be this main character like she kicks ass she rides a motorcycle nobody needs to mess with her and she's a hero she saves the day and um long story short it's a very cool update to the old 1985 series and it's very black and very much uh, a show that i think you will enjoy so it is on paramount plus if you are streaming paramount plus i think it's worth it to get it if you're not because this series is cool you'll like it so again the equalizer starring queen latifah definitely deserves a watch watch all the episodes and um yeah you will not be disappointed at all i can't wait for next season um because the series ended this season on a cliffhanger and i'm not gonna spoil it for you just just watch it it is so dope you will love it anytime a black woman in her 40s is in the lead and she's kicking ass you know it's gonna be a good show all right, that's it for this week, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have other comments about The Equalizer, please do send them to me so that I can share them on our next broadcast. And next week, we're going to be talking about a whole nother series. Um, and I think I've decided to go ahead and jump in with Blind Spotting because, oh, another series with a black woman in the lead. I just love it. Just keep it coming, right? All right, then. I will see you next week, same time, 4.30 p.m. every Wednesday for Fresh. And next week, we're going to be talking about Blind Spotting, the TV series. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great one. Bye.